Bonjour, bonsoir, dear friends. Welcome to JCB Live and our wonderful wine style. Today is another fabulous day in the history of our kitchen. First time, very importantly, with my friend Rafa. We're drinking in honor of another close friend of ours whose music is always playing with us, John Legend. And we're drinking the LV Chardonnay. Today we will be demonstrating sorbetto, sorbet gelato. So this is a very exciting history as well because the Asian were known to eat the frozen roots with ice way, way back. And then the Egyptian, the major pharaoh, were always serving a little bit of infusion of fruits, of herbs, you know, very cold, served as a sorbetto. But it's a French name, sorbet, or in Italian, uh -huh. sorbetto. And what is so exciting, even though the French may be at the origin of it, the gentleman who mastered it is Mr. Latini in the 17th century in Italy and in the southern part of Italy, of course. So we owe again something to the Asian, to the Egyptian, and of course the Italian and the French for managing something magical that melts in our mouth and is really a combination of very healthy and unique fruits, yeah. ice, a little sugar, then that's a, little a little water, but today we're going to enjoy it with LV Chardonnay. But before we tell you more about the Chardonnay, we're going to have Raphael demonstrating us how we do it. Yeah. Cheers. Have you noticed, he always needs two sips mm. before every recipe. I, I love that. I mean, what can you do, you know? So, for this recipe, is, uh, we're going to make, just like Joshua explained that to you, we're going to be making a peach sorbet. This is a nice fresh peaches that I picked from the garden this morning also. Organic, biodynamic. Uh, and the, for this recipe, I'm going to start by making first the simple syrup. So for the simple syrup, we're going to do of uh, four cups. It's equal parts of water and sugar. So four cups of granular sugar. And I love the fact that we make it our simple syrup, of course. You could buy it already pre-made, but it's certainly never as good, right? Never, never. So then two, one, two, three, four, and four cups of water, of course. And that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna make simple syrups. And we're gonna make a twist today. Rafa, we're gonna add a little bit of the LVE Chardonnay from Napa Valley. And this is the twist to our sorbet. So we're gonna bring it out to a, uh, not to a boil, but you're gonna heat up slowly, a medium heat until all the sugar dissolve. Once uh, you ten minutes, when you ten minutes in, you're gonna start seeing everything, all the sugar dissolving, and it's gonna be pretty, pretty delicious. And I've seen people doing sorbet with wine with as oil. well, because yeah. eighty-five percent of a bottle of wine is mainly water. So of course, it's very, very good. So, so there's a recipe in the Rhone Valley, cantaloupe or watermelon sorbet with Corduron Rosé. So we made a... Pretty amazing. We have that recipe we make with uh, with the cab, uh, with the Sharif from uh, Buena Vista. We make uh, the Sharif uh, ice cream. That's one of uh, my favorites that we always make. Seven great parties yeah. made it together. <laughs> <laughs> so for this one, like I say, uh, we're just gonna dissolve the sugar. So the next, John Charles. This is like what I call the C-section. <laughs> Ooh, a nice crumb in. into the peach. Those are beautiful peaches. So you keep the skin, huh? Yeah, I keep the skin. So what I'm gonna do on the skin, so they're nice and ripe. Just cut it like that with a uh, peri knife. Yes. So this is two pounds. So and I'm gonna do a mix because this is this is a white peach because yes. we have different varieties. And also, if you I really want to do, I can go crazy and do what. Nectarine? The nectarines do a are blend, so juicy you know? this year. So juicy, yes. Look at this, how ripe it is. It's nice and ripe. So you create this incision for what? So when you put them, we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna blanch them, real quick yes. blanch. So by the time you put it in the, in the boiling water, the skin is gonna peel kind of to the side. Ah. And you just, just go like, easy to peel. So, so that's for ease of yeah, and, the water, and also a little bit of water, it goes through, it penetrates and Great. you know how it penetrates. So it's, Fantastic. <laughs> well, it's looking beautiful. Are you going to throw an apple in there just to add a little? This is a little, the first baby apple of the summer. Yeah. 
Who knows? So, so all kinds of flavor work for sorbet. It's a two pounds, uh, two pounds of uh, peaches. So that's gotta go into the water. And dear friends, we have a, a Chardonnay from Napa Valley. So we've created this amazing wine with our friend John Legend, the fantastic, incredible, and very talented singer. So this is a full-bodied Chardonnay from Napa Valley. So it's a combination of some of our greatest vineyards right here in the heart of Napa. And the whole idea was to bring his melody, the harmoniousness of his music, with the love and the passion and the richness of the wine. So it's a little different than Raymond Vineyard Chardonnay. It's richer, more powerful, and you could say, which I'm excited to taste it with the sorbet today, a little bit of a peach and apricot finish. So the two together, I believe, is going to be an explosive song. It's going to be music to our mouth and to our ears. So for these ones, these ones they're almost, they're literally, it takes about a minute in the water, and then that's it, you can pull them out. All right? So now I know your trick. I know why it's so quick to take the peel off. There's a trick, and this, this technique works also for a... Uh, so you put it in the ice. In the ice. So the, the ice, what it's gonna do is gonna stop the cooking right away, and then not gonna continue cooking, and then uh, it's gonna stop, because peaches there can oxidize quickly too. Yes. Yeah. He does that as well with hard-boiled eggs, and I love the techniques because the shell goes really directly out and your egg is fantastic and melting as well it so works. you do that with tomatoes as well well that's exactly that's when we did the gazpacho the yes they call it tomato cantose yes yeah i don't know this french word but uh yeah so see, oh, of course it comes right off so fast see, it comes right off the skin yes simple that's why we do this mother this nature is and so i can beautiful. just go exactly in that direction with this the skin is holding you know? wow. and it's easy so you've done basically I'm four to six little... I do two, she has one, two. Two, and then okay. okay. And then we'll put them into the bowl. All right. We'll repeat the same process. This was not... So that's the very tedious work. Huh? Uh -huh. You just peel them. Well, luckily you pre-prepared. Yeah. Because it's going to take us all afternoon here. Yeah. <laughs> so peeling, peeling was the big homework of the kitchen. My hands hurt. Yes, but... <laughs> You know, you have such great dexterity. <laughs> so they are ready, as we could see, gorgeously peeled. So you yep. kept some of the skin. Some of the skin, so, this, so it has a little nice body to it. You can always pass it through a chinois or pass it to a string. So. But you know, Rafael, which is amazing is the peach and white peach specifically keeps coming out more and further in the Chardonnay. Mm. I think it's going to go magnificently well with the sorbet. So, so the next step we're going to do, we're going to put them in to the blender. So we need the blender. We need the blender. It's going to get a little noisy, but not too much, right? Okay. It should be easy. Uh, we're just going to put it in. Okay. And then we, we need to add the simple syrup. And then we're going to add a simple syrup, blend it, and that's going to get a little cool off before you put them in the ice cream maker. Hopefully, you know, people at home has a, uh, uh, a blender. Otherwise, you can put them in a whisk it. That's right. You whisk it and then put them in the freezer. You, you're gonna have to repeat the process at least three or four times. Freeze it out until like, gives it I just wonder how 3000 BCs, the Asian, the Egyptian, and in the 17th century, they used to do it. With they used to do it without, without all those tools. So Pretty you, amazing. Yeah, they, could, they used to do that. I remember back home, this guy used to sell ice cream in the street and they used to make it by hand, set up yeah. a bucket of ice. Yeah. Of course, he put salt because salt helps for the ice to not melt as quickly. And then we just stir it, stir it, stir it. That's it. The best ice cream ever. Yeah, very nice. Well, this we'll one. have to do one of those too. Yeah. So we, simple syrup and... And then that's it. That's it. That's it. Simple syrup. We have to do a quick blend. Just some on pass. And that's it. Because I don't want to like to break all the. I want nice. Yeah. The nice body. You want texture you know? to I want it. the texture. You know. I think like, it's very. Different, like, to me, I would love to just leave it up, but 
preferences. Yes. Because you see the chunks in there is uh. It's uh, gorgeous. It has nice and it has nice creaminess still. Um, and then that's it. This one's just like I said, put them in the freezer. Repeat the same process at least four times. So you put it in the freezer, get it out, whisk out, and at least every other forty minutes. Shall we try just like this? Yeah. So let me just add the last, the last thing. Uh -huh. it, right? Of course. And it's the citrus in it. So I'm gonna put about a, at least a lemon, one lemon in there. You know why I'm so curious to try it? Because we've added a little bit of the LV Chardonnay oh, yeah. into the simple syrup. So we'll see how it behaves. So let's just the it. magical spoon. Mm. I love those chunks. I like. Chunks. I don't like too liquid sorbet. It's not as exciting. All right. Shall Can I make this, please? All right. Mmm. Unbelievable. <coughs> so good. <laughs> I'm excited with the lemon. <laughs> and this is the LV Chardonnay. I knew John wanted me to sing, so all of me. <laughs> that was so good. I would drink it as a soup. Yes. So and now the final results. The moment of truth. So the moment one, of you joy. You want to show up to the camera what we made already? Please. So now, look at how it comes out. This has that beautiful peach, orange, pale color. Great density. And we can see the chunk. Yes. That's what I love as well. It doesn't look like purely infused with peach just ice infused with peach like you can see sometimes this is really truly the fruit so these are a nice canal which is just a floated this will be good with champagne too Ooh. throw it in a bit of flow let's do it with gala or maybe jcb 21 and 69 and maybe buena vista champagne what do you think of that it would be delicious mm. So this, what I'm making is I'm making a canal, a canal. Yeah. One for you. And you're always doing the warm water that helps you obviously. Yeah, release the, the ice cream scoop. Very and nice. And that's it. Look at how gorgeous. We are ready. And now we're going to be with Danelle yeah. making a sorbet cocktail. Ooh. So we cannot wait. We're going to have a toast with the Chardonnay, but I think I'm very curious about what she's about to make because uh, she's been really so passionate about it that it will be a good one. It'll be amazing. Now the sorbet is almost as fresh as the nail. <laughs> and we can see she's going to make it melt in this beautiful glass. So the nail, I know you have a surprise for us. Well, we're going to do, a, I'm going to use the sorbet that you and Raphael made and we're just going to do a peach sorbet and blackberry martini. Oof. With the I JCB love vodka. the idea. So we're using again the JCB vodka. Four months in the making. Chardonnay on one side, Pinot Noir. We blend them together, which we never do typically, of course. And then we distill it seven times. We filter it five times. Mm. What is so good with the JCB vodka? It's rich. It's dense finishes on your tongue, no alcohol feeling. Perfect. And that's why I love it with fruit. Okay, so we're going to chill our glass, the martini glass, by putting ice in it first. Letting it sit. Good technique, yeah. Yeah, I learned that years ago, tending bar, long, long time ago. It was ago. only five years ago. <laughs> And so, Danelle is teaching us all those little tricks that we should all know how to make a great cocktail and prepare everything. I love your station. You have to so, have everything set up so it's all within your arm's lime, range. Your mm -hmm. blackberry, your sorbet, your peach. Right. You're so right. meticulous. So we are going to do, I went and got these fresh off of the vines actually out in the garden and they're so ripe and they're so delicious. I saw them when we were picking peaches and thought, well, we need to add some blackberries too. Great idea. Little color, little flavor. So we'll put four or five blackberries mm -hmm. and we'll put you so squeeze. squeeze of lime. So you're choosing lime versus lemon. Lime versus lemon. And why is that? 
Lemon sometimes can be a little tart, a little bitter, and uh, this is going to be a little on the sweeter side, Ooh, a little sweeter. For my sweet tooth. Right. And let's put some sorbet in. Oh, you're going for it. I'm going to go for it. And I love the texture of that sorbet. You see yeah. that beautiful color orange. Feels like we put turmeric with peach, but there's only peach. So we're going to blend this up. We're going to muddle it up. Usually we would have used just regular peach slices, but we yes. would have had to add simple syrup. But since the sorbet was so sweet, we didn't need any simple syrup. Oh, that's syrup a great idea. All, right? Much better, in fact. Right. And which is um, good is we, we added a little bit of our secret LV Chardonnay. LV Chardonnay. So I think it's going to be very cool. So let's do, let's do Ooh. three ounces. Three ounces, Danelle. You're so generous. And? I guess this one is for you. It is. <laughs> so you basically stir or you shake? Stir this, we'll stir this one. We've been shaking already. Let's we'll stir this one. Okay. Since I like stirring. Is it more gentle? It's more gentle uh, since the sorbet is in here. It's nice to stir it. Yes. Of course. And now you strain it. And I think we'll do a double strainer again for the blackberry seeds so they don't go in. Ooh, look at that color. And it's a little thick, so it's what you can do once you get it into this strainer is take your tool that you muddled with and just gently go around in circles and it'll push the liquid through. Without, That's so without giving color. you pulp. Yes. So all the pulp is left in the strainer. You've got your liquid. Look at that. I know many of you want to be with Danelle mixing. So you're all invited. I know Professor is coming very soon, Danelle. So we're going to give him great, very, very precise lessons of how cocktail to lessons. make the best cocktail ever. So there is your peach blackberry martini. Well, you should try this one and describe it for us. That is really, really amazing with the sorbet in it. It's really, really good. Rich, it's intense. Rich. It's, uh, yeah, actually I prefer it with the sorbet over the, the uh, sliced peaches. I'm gonna try, of course. Mouthful. Unbelievable. Delicious. Wow, and the kick of the three ounce vodka as well is there, but the sorbet at richness, coolness. I think the lime. I like the lime at the end. At as the well. end. It's at the very end. Very much so. And the blackberries, you feel them too. Yep. I thought they would be overwhelmed, but they're really present as well. Right. Dear friends, Danelle, there's no one better to mix. Come and visit and we'll do cocktails together.